Hey guys, it's Emmy, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for this video, I'm going to be doing an updated what's on my iPhone video. The last phone I had was the iPhone 11. I got it in May of 2020, and then it kept crashing down this year, so I got the iPhone 14 Pro. I believe I got this back in like September, October of 2022. I thought it was a perfect time to do an updated one. I added a few apps. I've gotten comfortable with the new iOS update, so I'm excited to share with you guys what I have on my phone. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Emmy. You guys should subscribe down below to become part of the Eminem family and stay tuned for some upcoming videos. All right, I think we should just get started. There's not much to it. So I'm gonna start off with the outside. Like I already mentioned before, I have the iPhone 14 Pro. I just have it in the space gray or black, whatever they call it, I'm not too sure. And then my case is just the Apple silicone black case. Very simple. I'm gonna talk about my lock screen and then I'll use a screen recording to talk about my home screen. This is my lock screen. It's a picture of Huntington Beach. Love the beach. It brings me happiness and peace. I have my Apple Watch charging right now, so this is a little widget thing that I have. On the other side, I have my calendar for the day. As you guys can tell, I have nothing today. Then I have the degrees up there, the time, all of that. Pretty simple. We're gonna get started now, I'm gonna move over here. So starting off, this is my home screen. It's the same background, just the beach picture. You have all of the general basic apps that the phone comes with. And then down here, I have SoundCloud, which doesn't come with the phone. I love music. Also, you should follow my Apple Music. It's called Emmy Camille. I have a variety of playlists on here and with some little fun title names. Bouncing off that, I love music. I listen to music all the time. So I have SoundCloud just so I can get that unreleased music from Drake, Brent, Ariana Grande, The Weeknd, all of that. Right now I was listening to Mac Miller, Cameras by Lil Uzi Post Malone. Um, so yeah. Next up on the bottom, I have iMessages, Snapchat, YouTube, and Netflix. These are like my most frequently used apps. I don't know why Netflix is down there. I just watched that on my computer, but it is what it is. Then we slide and I have my setup right here. I am so happy with this screen because if you know me, I have OCD, I love organization, I like everything neat. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. The top part is a big widget and it's just a calendar once again. It has the things I have on my calendar for tomorrow popped up. So when I open my phone, it's just right then and there and I can see what I need to do. So you guys can see I have a Pepperdine tour and then a UCSB workshop. I don't think I'm going to that Pepperdine tour one, because it's raining, and two, because I'm most likely not going to go there. But I haven't decided yet. The next widget, I have a ton of things I can set it to. Normally, I set it to whatever's charging, or I set it to my music, um, because I could just click it and listen to music right there. The next widget is Pinterest, and it's set to one of my Pinterest boards called home screen it has some flowers some beach pictures whatever matches my background now we're going to move on to my actual apps that i got so in this socials folder i have twitter instagram tiktok pinterest and be real i don't use twitter that much obviously i love instagram you guys should follow my instagram it's called emmy camille on tiktok as well it's called emmy camille honestly this is just plugging me at this point this is the pinterest board i was talking about home screen it just has some very simplistic and aesthetic pictures be real now i wasn't gonna get this app when it was popular or trending i guess you could say i slowly caved in and i got it and after a few weeks i was like i didn't really need this app because it just created another password and another thing for me to memorize but I'll probably end up deleting it soon, not gonna lie. Next up, we have the folder school. This one is probably one of my packed folders. So first off, I have Quizlet. I love using this to study, make flashcards, all of that. I have Aries Portal to check my grades. I have Google Classroom because I am still in high school. I'm a high school senior. I have my classes there. Outlook is to check my mail from my school. And then I have Photomath and Mathway. Those are all to help me with math. I haven't used them this year actually just because I've been I've been going to tutoring and all of that. But Photomath, you just take a picture of your math problem and it helps you out. Mathway, you can type it out. I don't know if you can take a picture of it though. But both of those are really helpful. Then I have Docs. Next up, I have Band and that is my spirit leader little app. We communicate through there. 
Um, and then I have Remind, which is also for my school. Remind is for any clubs I'm in, any tutoring for my teachers. And then the next page, I have Group Me. I'm in a volunteering group for my church, and we communicate through there. My group consists of facilitating teens on retreats and just planning and prepping all of the retreat-based events. Next, I have ZMe. I actually really love this app. It's for colleges. Like I stated previously, I am a high school senior, so I apply to colleges. I'm getting admissions back, and this app allows me to communicate with people from all over the world who are applying to the same school as me. And it's super cool because you can actually add all of the schools that you apply to here, so you guys can see mine. And you can answer all of these questions here so other people can see it and you guys can find roommates, all of that. It's actually pretty convenient and very interesting to look at. I love seeing what people are talking about in the group chats. And not only do I get to see what we communicate about, they also help me um, check admissions and all of that and to see if everyone got this email, all of that. Um, for example, when Long Beach was coming out, I didn't know how to check because Long Beach doesn't have a portal. So they sent a link and I got to check my admission status there. So it's very helpful. Next, I have Dual Mobile, another college app where they send a code for you to log into your portal. Same with authentication, that one's for SDSU. And then Zoom, you guys know what Zoom is, video chat. I do that for my tutoring. Next up, I have Shop and I don't like to add so many apps of food and shopping all that just because it makes me have to memorize more passwords and all of that and also it just creates more junk and takes up space so I only keep it limited to the ones that I go to the most Raising Cane's I don't go to all the time but I have rewards on there so that's the only exception Lululemon I love Lululemon I recently just got these these light blue flares the other day they're super cute but yes, they are expensive, so if you're willing to buy something, it's worth it. But I still love my workout clothes from Amazon, so it's like, you pick and choose. Next I have Shein, you all know what Shein is. It's a cheap shopping website, and I actually should get a few things here for the summertime. And maybe I could do a little haul for you guys. Next I have Princess Polly, I love Princess Polly. It's a little bit on the pricier side as well, but they have cute things. I believe I'm gonna get my graduation outfit here and maybe my birthday outfit as well. They just have so many cute options. Like I love the long maxi dresses that they have just because it's still modest, but also very original and unique. Next I have Target. This is mainly for my mom because the Target app doesn't work on her phone, so I pick up everything for her. Next, I have Starbucks. You guys know I work at Starbucks, so I obviously have to have that app. Well, I don't have to. I've had this app for so long because... Next, I have Chipotle. I literally eat here probably once a week. Love that place. Taste tea as well. I love their peach me tea. It's so good. You guys should try it if you haven't. And that's it for shop. Next, I have Bank, and I have Venmo in here, obviously, to send money and to receive money. I have Wells Fargo because that's my bank. And then I have this app with the following app that's part of my work. So, love that. That's to check my schedule. Next, I have my editing folder. And this is also one of the longer folders. First off, I have Fonto just to make my thumbnails. I have GoPro, which is to receive footage and clips from my GoPro and import it onto my phone. The next app is Canon Camera Connect, which is the same thing, but for Canon cameras. Which gets me thinking because I really want to get the Canon M50, but I don't know if I should. I just love the videos with the wider lens, and that camera you can change the lens, and I can get a little microphone for it, but I don't know if I want to pull the trigger on that because I have this Canon G7X working perfectly fine. I don't know. I'm still thinking. Plus, with college coming up, I really just need to save my money. Next, I have Pixar, and that's to also make thumbnails. Um, on this app, I outline myself like the white outline i'll do it for this thumbnail and you'll see it then i have eraser which is just to make your own pngs and transparent pictures visco has a ton of different fonts i mean visco has a ton of different filters that you can put on your pictures say if you're posting on instagram or if you're making a youtube thumbnail as well widget smith and color widgets are just these little things right here on your phone that you can customize next up is followers i don't know why i have that but i have it to be petty basically that Next, I have Google Ads. That's just to check my AdSense and all of the 
behind the scenes of being a YouTuber. YouTube Studio also allows me to do kind of the same thing as Google Ads, except Google Ads is more financially based and monetization type stuff. YouTube Studio, I can upload thumbnails on here, add descriptions, all of that. Oh my gosh, my camera's flashing. Photo Scan is to take a picture of a photo and it imports as like a PNG or it's now on your phone. Vivid Seats, Ticketmasters, those are for tickets, you guys know that. Impulse is an app my coworker told me about yesterday. It's an app where you can play games that helps with your brain, like memory, multitasking. Well, technically you can't really multitask, but you know what I mean? Focusing, all of that. I still have yet to try it because you told me about it yesterday. Next up, I have health. I have my fitness pal to track what I eat. Life360, I just threw in here because it's kind of like an extras folder as well. And it's like safety, which is part of health, I guess you would say. Flow is for menstruation cycles. Um, LA Fitness, because I work out there. Notion, I really, really want to try this app when I get into college. It's basically, it's also a website that where you organize everything, calendar, like, I want to do a whole video on it because I haven't set up anything and I really want to for college time. So I'm going to watch other videos so I can set up my little own <laughs> page. Next, I have watch and fitness. Those are my Apple Watch apps to track how many steps I'm doing, how many calories I'm burning, all of that. Last two are Disneyland to check the lines and all of that. And Freeform, I'm not too sure what that is, but it's on my phone, so yeah. That is everything on my iPhone 14. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below to become part of the family. I have super exciting content coming up for you guys, so please stay tuned. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you, babes. Peace.